nature is basically poison. It's uh, put out by yard. Well, guys, welcome back to Red River Living. Uh, today, we are out treating for these gophers or voles that we have here on our land. Y'all might have seen in a video uh, previously where we were out leveling some of these hills off and just cleaning up our pasture some. Well, today, it's overcast. There's not a whole lot going on, and it's actually fairly cold today. But anyway, we are out, and we are manually um, treating these um, gopher um, mounds. And what I have right here, as you can see, is a gopher mold bait applicator. And this applicator is designed to put the bait down under the ground to where it's not above ground. Because what we're putting out today is basically a poisoned wheat product. And that product, we do not want to be laying on top of the ground. As you might see back here in the background, we got our chickens running around and they just run loose. So this poison that we're putting out for these gophers is below ground level. And anyway, I picked up this, it's uh, put out by yard. Oh, Rooster gonna talk to us. This um, gopher bait uh, applicator is put out by Yard Butler and you can pick this up at Tractor Supply. We'll have this linked in the bottom of the video to where y'all can see that and um, know what they cost and everything. And I think they're running around $30 or so a piece, just give or take. You just have to check on them and see what they are. But anyway, that's what we're up to. Um, you can also pick up a product there that is a pellet. Um, I've been trying to pellet. Uh, it seemed like the pellet was turning to dust a little bit, a powder. And I wasn't sure what the pellet was doing in our wet or sandy soil. And that is why I've gone to this product you'll see right here. And y'all back up. I've got all kind of help today. Um, this product right here is basically poisoned wheat seed. And I picked this up at our local um, Helena Chemical Plant here in Burpinette. Well, guys, as you can see here, we were out back a while ago when I was talking about this. I've moved out front. We've kenneled the dogs up. Um, this bait is poison, and I wanted to be on a surface that I could see this if we were to spill it at all with the chickens, the dogs around, everything. Um, so that's why we've moved out front here. And as you can see, I've got my uh, bucket sitting here. What you have to do here, and it's pretty simple, it explains all this, is you undo the top here. And so I've got me just a funnel here. I got me a cup and I just funnel it into it. I just try to be as careful as I possibly can on not spilling this seed. Um, last thing I want to do is be trying to clean it up. Do not want to lose this wing nut here. Guys, we've moved out here to the hay field and um, I've already drugged this once. So we drug it and for the sole purpose of getting rid of the mounds that were everywhere and so that we could see where they were coming up at and they were fresh. So here right to my right right here, you can see we've got a couple mounds where they've come up. And what I'm going to do with this probe is I'm just going to start trying to poke it in and I'm trying to feel for the void. See how it just goes down in the ground? And then you just open and close it and you just spent some of that seed down in the ground real good. One of the thoughts on this is once you make that hole like that in the ground, that air now is circulating and that brings that gopher to that hole to stop it back up and that gets him to the bait at this time. So we're just going to walk around. I can see some more fresh mounds up here. We're just going to walk up here and treat these while we're at it. You 
can just see right there how far that went down in the ground it was very little effort so i've made that hole and i'm gonna Now we've deposited some poison down in a hole. So guys, I've put some of this poison down the bottom of the hole here. I'm gonna bring it up to the top and demonstrate how the poison comes out of the applicator here. Um, normally I have this a lot lower in the ground, but I just want y'all to be able to see this, how it comes out. As you turn the handle, it dispenses that seed out of it, just like that. Well, guys, I hope y'all have enjoyed this little um, tutorial on um, treating and trying to get rid of gophers. We've got about 20 acres here we're going to be working on, Jared and I. Um, we're just going to take it a little bit of time, and if we see that we need, think we need to drag it to be watching for the fresh piles, we'll be dragging it for the fresh piles. Guys, appreciate you watching Red River Living. We'll see y'all next time.